Hi friends and colleagues, I'm Gui representing JVQM Andy Sarawak. In this video, I would like to share a JVQM C1 materials report. This video was created to allow a more effective briefing. As we all know, everyone is busy in ND. Not everyone has time to meet together for every matters. And traveling from outside Kuching is also a cost to DM. Okay, back to this brief agenda. The report I'm going to share is known as NDSWK.mm. NDSWK represents the abbreviation of ND Sarawak, and MM represents the abbreviation of material management. You may ask, why this report was put to place? Ordering C1 materials from procurement project by project is not effective. Materials manager need to know all the other requirements from other projects. They're going to use up the current stock in ML and the incoming stock. As we know, calculating the total quantity of C1 materials to order in batches or as a whole is not a simple task. Consolidating materials requirement from hundreds of projects is a tedious, repetitive and boring task. On top of that, as projects progress, move along the timeline, some projects requirement will change. For example, the materials type and quantity the RFS debt and the cost. All these changes lead to a lot more recalculating work on the latest total materials requirement, month by month. I wouldn't repeat here the other additional potential problems related to materials management. These few are significant enough to consume our time as project manager. If we are going to do it effectively and accurately. Therefore, the practical solution we have today is not to appoint a dedicated material manager for each PTT area. The practical solution is by digitization and automation of the data processing and calculation process. Today, we have put in place a partial automation tool for C1 materials management. This automation tool is ndswk.mm, a reporting tool to allow at least 30 times faster C1 materials data processing speed than experienced worker. What left for project manager to do is to assign a representative from each PTT area. Assign them to review the proposed quantity stated in the report S106. After each review, the representative to forward order to procurement and CC to PPM. The role remain for project manager is to edit reservation quantity in SAP and requirement that in sphere if there is changes. Proper use of these tools, hopefully Project manager can cut short the time they spend on material recalculation process and allow project manager to focus on other material matters and in general other project matters. 
That's all about introduction to JBQM C1 Materials Report, NDSWK.MM. Before I end this briefing, I would like to express my appreciation to my colleague in JBQM and Andy Sarawak. Without them, development of these two is impossible. Thank you.